Alrighty. Okay, everybody. This is Cell Block 776. Got an unboxing video. It's going to be a first here. Recently, I made a film uh, video here for YouTube regarding an MFJ4245 power supply that started uh, surging, having over voltage, blew up one of my radios. Well, sending it back to MFJ, they apparently decided it wasn't worth repairing. It sent me a brand new one for about half the price of the shipping that I shipped there. So, um, I'm going to do a little unboxing. We're going to check it out. We're going to plug it in and see how well it works. So, this showed up on the porch this afternoon from UPS. As is, I woke up this evening and found it on my way out to work. And, uh, I'm going to open it up cats are very interested in what's going on here in daddy's radio room uh, all right let's see all right i'll put that up and... oh there's even more tape underneath hang on all right now we're done Yes, got it. Alrighty. Peanuts! I shipped them a bunch of peanuts. They ship more back to me. Alrighty. How good is how good a packing supply can you do when you put all the peanuts on one side of the box? Not the other, so I guess it just slams around. Uh, hmm. I wonder. Probably would have been cheaper just to wad up some newspaper in there. Okay. New MFJ power supply. Comes with a little instruction sheet. There's the uh, packing. QRZ has a couple of threads going about these power supplies where others have had the same over voltage problems and uh, they've sent them back they've come back and uh, still not working properly that uh, persons who got them back need to open them up sit there and tinker with them a little bit more internally Hopefully that won't be the case here. The warranty. I was asking since it's a new power supply, the warranty should start over right, starting with today. No, they said. The warranty's only good from the original purchase date, or the original piece of equipment. Which means January for this power supply. And if I need to test the heck out of it, put it through its paces. Run it around the track a few times and break it in. You don't want to have any problems right off the bat. Okay, there it is. 4245. Uh, let's undo the cord. There is no editing here. I don't have fancy editing software. Everything you see is real time. It's going to happen. Sorry if it's slow. Feel free to skip forward. I won't take it personally. Plug it in now. Let's see what it does. Alrighty. Turning on. 13.8 volts showing. You can drop it down, drop it all the way down there. It'll go down as far as 8 volts, but not any further. About 8 or 9, and then up. There's a little tick mark there, or you can go all the way up above it. Well, it won't go much further than 13.8. So we're going to leave it right there. Okay, so how are we going to test this? It used to be a... Turn off. There we go. Good night. I used to be a volunteer firefighter. 
guess what? We ran lights and siren. I got a few of these left over years back. I'm going to take our little light bar, the good old days of running the streets. Go ahead and got some naked wire ends here. This used to be uh, actually plugged into a multi switch. So we'll go ahead and hook up the red. Shove it in there real good. Tighten it down on the wire. Take the black. Tighten it down thoroughly on the black. Okay, this thing is going to pull. Uh, I'm pull about nine, twelve amps, depending on how. Oh, we got cat on, on desk. Hey, buddy, you going to sit here and watch us? Watch this. Oh yeah. Oh, we're interested in this. Yeah, that's pulling right at ten. Just below 10, about 9 amps. Let's go ahead and give it a little bit more juice. Let's see what I got here. Give me a little blue bubble light. And go ahead and plug this sucker in too. It's not going fast, it doesn't have to. Lighter socket. Let's add another few volts to it. Ooh. Sure doesn't go very fast. Doesn't give it a lot. Not going very fast. Still 13.8. Shut it off. Back on. Looks like it's working for now. Doesn't seem to be overdriving anything. But of course, I'd use this about eight, nine times before all of a sudden it just freaked out. I have no idea if it's going to do it again or not. But they said, go ahead and run it, put it through its pace to see if I can find anything wrong with it. Apparently we're working. This is just quick and dirty, straight out of the box. I'm going to have to open it up. Make sure both the fans are running. So I'm not sure if the fans are working right either. I can hear the fans inside. There are two fans, but are both of them running? Can't tell. They're quiet. Shut off. Go to sleep. And back in again. So, MFJ 4245. Brand new version, straight from MFJ, to replace the one that was overdriving and burned up my Yezu 8500. So far, Saturday, uh, November 17th, at 1.57 a.m., seems to be working right. I'm going to keep throwing some loads on it, see what it does. See if I can get it to act up. Apparently, right now, it's working. That's what we have. All right, YouTube, cell block 776, also KC5SAS here. And uh, if anything happens, we'll post another video and let you know. All the readers there on QRZ forums, thanks for reading, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, be wary, MFJ 4245's had some problems. It's a hit or miss item. Thank you very much. I'm going to turn off the video.